Okay, it's time to have, take a stab at getting these jump seats installed. And I've got them mocked up here so I can show you the plan and the problem here. And the issue is the roll bar was installed, the jump seats were removed, and that's because the roll bar used some of the same mounting points as the jump seats. And so you can have one or the other, but not both. But of course, that's exactly what I do want, is I want both. And uh, so what I've decided to do here is a couple of things. First off, right in here, I'm going to make an adapter to connect the back of the jump seat to this mounting flange here on the, on the roll bar out of a couple of pieces of angle iron set back to back. So it'll make kind of a Z-shaped part. And I've made a prototype, but it looks like everything's going to work, so I'll show that to you next. It's a little harder to see because it's kind of dark back here. But here's my prototype. So here's the two pieces of angle iron. And it's connected to the jump seat here. And then it's connected to the roll bar back there. And uh, then the last thing I need to do, because the jump seat is mounted a few inches outboard of where it used to be, is these rubber stops that when you pull the jump seat down, keep it square. Those need to be moved a couple inches inboard. But that was pretty easy to do, so there you go. So next couple of segments here, I'm going to uh, cut the rest of these pieces of angle iron and uh, start making up the rest of the mounting brackets, and then we'll get them mounted, and then I'll come back and show you how it all turned out.
Okay, both of the jump seats are in and they look pretty good. Last thing I had to do here was to uh, make these straps that for closing or for keeping them closed. And there you go. Everything works. Looking good. So that part of the job is done.